get ready with me while we talk about what it's like to go to the Golden Globes. So I decided I'm gonna recap my day with you guys and explain what it's really like behind the scenes at the Golden Globes. First off, I stayed at the Beverly Hilton, which is where they hold the Golden Globes. It is only celebrities. Like just for reference, when I checked into the hotel, the first person I saw in the lobby was Hunter Schaefer. She was just standing there. It was, what? Because there's so many A-list celebrities, that thing is locked down. It's like Alcatraz. And I didn't know this at the time, but I guess they only let people who are attending the award show stay at the hotel. I arrived to the hotel and checked in. I got what's called a credentials badge. And that credentials badge was my access to everything. It got me on the red carpet. It got me backstage. Doesn't matter who you are, you need that badge. Before I went to bed, my friend Jeremy was kind enough to give a tour of the red carpet as they were setting up. And when I tell you that this is the longest red carpet I've ever seen, it's like a mile long. Like 5 a.m. the morning of the Globes, I drove out of the hotel and I met up with Patrick Starr at his place. We collabed on my makeup look and then I drove back to the hotel which was even harder to get into. There were close to six different checkpoints that you had to pass through. First one involved a bomb sniffing dog. And at each of these checkpoints, they're obviously checking your credentials just to make sure that you're even allowed there. Once you're in the hotel, you have two more checkpoints that you have to pass through. It's just like TSA, they check through your bag, you walk through this thing, and then they scan your credentials. Once I was dressed and ready, an escort brought me down to the top of the carpet. And that's where on TV, you'll see all of the celebrities get dropped off in cars. Some of them do walk up or get escorted, but a lot of them, even the ones staying at the hotel, get dropped off in cars just for that car entrance. The great thing about the beginning of the carpet at the Globes is there's no paparazzi. You get to walk out, you get to adjust your dress. You have a little bit of time to prep for the area that has all of the photographers. This is also the area of the carpet where they take the glam bod video. After the beginning of the carpet, it opens up into the area where all of the media is. This is where E! Entertainment is. This is where Access Hollywood is. This is where you can watch all of the live streams of the Golden Globes red carpet. And that's also where the madness starts because this is where all of the A-list celebrities are just giving all their interviews, interacting with each other, catching up. The most insane thing I've ever seen. In this part of the carpet, everywhere you look is an A-lister. It's like Meryl Streep is talking to Amanda Seyfried, who's talking to Elizabeth Olsen. This is the area that doesn't really have photographers. That's a whole different side of the carpet. You can kind of move up and down this area however you want. That's the area of the carpet that I spent most of my time. Each of the big news stations has a booth there. Access Hollywood would pull different celebrities up to their booth. E! Entertainment would pull different celebrities up to their booth. After the celebrities do their media interviews, they get into a line that allows them into this back corner. This is where they take those photos that everyone sees online of them wearing their finished look. This is also an area that is super, super protected. Celebrities' teams aren't allowed back there. Their publicists aren't allowed back there only they are allowed back there. And somehow they allowed me back there, which is just insane. When it's finally your turn to take pictures, you have three different areas on the carpet that you stop at, the photographer's snapshots, and then you exit the red carpet and meet back up with your team. The end of the red carpet has a few more media opportunities. I think E! Entertainment was positioned there. And then there's also a bar, so it's a great place for celebrities just to mingle and talk to media and also just talk to each other. This is also the area that people like Taylor Swift and Timothy Chalamet had to run through because they were some of the last to walk the carpet. So they had to get into the award show before it started. The ballroom where the award show is held is one of the most secure places I've ever seen in my entire life. Nobody is allowed in there except for the celebrity that is seated at that table. And once the award show started, it was a whole new set of rules, so I'm gonna make a video on that. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll try to answer them. I still can't believe I went to the Golden Globes. Ow.